All right, here we go. This is a big one. I like how it shows Dave. I guess because he's number one. But let's start with our boys. Let's start with our boys. In a classic 2v2 Black Forest matchup. Welcome, everybody. On one side, we have Dave Marauder in the blue. Playing as the Incas. Oh, boy. He definitely ran into that one. Teamed alongside T90, our other boy, in the green, playing as the Huns. They are, of course, up against Buddy Baddies team. And uh, that one is led by Buddy Batty himself in the red, playing as the Berbers. And his teammate, Turdon, in the yellow, playing as the Magyars. It's going to be quite the matchup. I hope everybody's ready for it. I'm still lagging quite a bit, which is kind of annoying. But hopefully that begins to sort itself out, or we can adjust some settings maybe after this. I did say turn on. I did, I did. Club and Master Flex. You got to put respect on his name, you know? Dave with the early walls. Love to see it. Looks like turn on is going to do very much the same. Body Batty. With uh, forward walls and a sneakville here. Forward walls and a sneakville. This could come back to bite T90 in the ass. What's up, Fifnon? Or Phenon? I guess that's how you'd say it. Oh, laming the boar. Laming the boar and the cow. Oh, T90. OT90, what are you going to do? Oh, he's trying. Oh. He's trying to reset the boar. He, he'll still be able to harvest from it as long as he can. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, I thought he had it. I thought he reset it and got the pull away. Brutal. Absolutely brutal. Still hasn't gotten the cow either. Doesn't necessarily uh, know where it is. Is going to start taking some food from this boar. And can do that since the uh, villager killed it. Oh yeah, we're going to have to fix settings after this, man. I might even have to do it during this game. Okay. Dave? Dave? You can come over and help. Love that. Force the scout away again. Over on this side, we're double walling. We're double palisade walling. Love it. Dave playing nice and safe. <laughs> T90 got walled out. Oh, breaks the wall, though. Health advantage. Well, just lost in this moment. I love this. The quick walls come down for Buddy. Buddy Batty is a baddie. Let's be real. Let's be real. Let's check in, though, uh, with villager counts. Make sure uh, everybody's, uh, yeah, keeping mostly on pace with each other. The big difference here is uh, we've got dock spawns. Uh, great, great little pawns for both T90 and Dave. So they're opting for those docks. Dave is going to go with the uh, triple boar lure. You love to see it. It's actually very easy to do simply because the boars just run into each other for the most part. And so uh, you don't really take that much extra damage. And uh, he's even using his scout to make it a little easier. But honestly, he probably doesn't need to do that. So going to have a great food eco for Dave. T90, on the other hand, is still um, having to recover from losing his boar early. He is going to snipe this villager, though. So that'll be nice to know uh, that at the very least, we don't have a sneak villager anymore. And uh, we can go back to harvesting this boar, which still has 180 food on it. So really, honestly, not not terrible overall. Uh, Red needs to find the rest of his sheep, and his food eco is in absolute shambles, actually, at the moment. Sir, isn't this Black Forest? You know where those are. Please send any villager. Thank you. Okay, here we go. That was horrendous. He is going out for... Oh, he's got six boars here, though. Dude, just go drop a mill out here. I would just take, like, eight villagers and go drop a mill. 
and then just uh, shift click all of those, all six of them, and you'd be fine. But he is bringing back two of the six boars currently, and he did get a couple of the cows back here. Still producing away. Looks like yellow is going for some feudal aggression, which I absolutely love to see. He's the Magyar, so... But honestly, he's not going to be able to break through the walls very easily. So I guess uh, could run through the middle, actually, because this is not walled up by T90 yet. So could run through the middle, have his uh, teammate delete the walls. That'd be nice with some scouts. Could wreak some havoc. Let's see here. Let's check back in. Uh, Market Blacksmith. Okay, never mind. It's just... An aggressive, fast castle attempt. Sir, you don't have the food for this. You're going to sell your stone? Turn on. What are you doing? Now you're dropping a whole bunch of farms. We bought food. Sold stone. Are we going to sell the other hundred? Oh, and the farm placement is... Turdon, I put so much faith in you. And you're, you're, really, you're really killing me. Look at Dave. Look at Dave. He saw the early feudal. This is what's so funny about it, too, is Dave's like, there's pressure coming. There's pressure coming. That guy hit feudal too early for a fast castle. There has to be pressure. And hilariously, there is no pressure. All right, Buddy Batty bringing in three more boars. See, this is going to be pretty. Just uh, no need to drop farms anytime soon. T90 already actually has um, four farms up and five fishing ships working away. Just hits feudal now. There's the market. Where's the blacksmith? Am I crazy? He doesn't have the wood for it. Nice. He's going to stonewall there. There's the blacksmith. Okay. Fantastic. Market blacksmith over here for Dave. He also has five fishing ships working away. And he can get eco upgrades. Oh, that's such a feels good, man. Well, things are looking really good for, um, for T90 and Dave here at the moment. Huge villager lead. Both on the way to castle. Now, Turdon will be there first in the end. But he did sell his stone to make it happen. He's mining stone back as we speak. But therefore, won't even be able to drop a TC right when he hits Castle. So, two pawns versus zero is huge. I agree. You just have this tiny one here, which really wouldn't be worth a ton. Now, all that said, look... Oh, th that's a bummer of a fail. But there were... There were six here, right, plus another three. So that's uh, nine boars that this side uh, ended up having. I know Dave had three back here, but that was all they got, I think, in terms of extras. So there was at least a food discrepancy kind of on both sides. All right, TC being dropped. We've got one. We have enough stone for another, but we don't have the wood. And we only have a, a seven on wood currently for Turdon. We did not... What? Hello? Sir. Okay. Thank you very much. He's going to go fix that now. Another dock about to go up here for Dave. And the fish traps have commenced. We also sent Deville out here to build something. And now he's just long distance chopping. Or maybe that was after the walls. He just sent him to get 10 wood. TC on stone for Dave. Second or second TC in the back on a wood line to go up to three. Uh, we got 20 seconds until Buddy Batty hits castle. So we won't know what he's going for just yet. Still on two TCs over here for Turdon. So let's think about uh, compositions in the late game. I mean, obviously, it's 2v2 team game. I don't expect... I don't know how seriously these guys are taking it. 
probably just like full Kamiuk play. I mean, boom, you're going on a big stone here. So it's probably just like full Kamiuk's for Dave. And then do you think um you think you think it's a unique unit for both? It, it really could be. T West, what's up? Zaki, how you doing? And too high for micro. Love it. Great name. Fabulous name. Um you think it's just double unique unit? I could totally see that. Tarkins uh, for uh, T90. Look at this, though. Castle in the choke. So you're just going to garrison units through constantly? That's pretty nuts. Uh, okay, he moves it even a little farther forward, but at least builds a pathway around the side of the castle. Third TC now for Turdon. But this is also, I mean, this is looking even more worrisome here for uh, Buddy Batty's team because... You're still on one TC, and you were the last one to the Castle Age. Your opponents have docks, have more TCs up at this point. Gonna be a little brutal. Gonna be a little brutal. On the other side, Berbers. I mean, Camel Archers would love to play Camel Archers, right? Magyars, ugh. I guess they just go Magyar Hussar for the most part. Could, could try and just go into... Cavalier. Oh, wow. Look at this. Dave even walling further behind here for extra safety. University next to the TC. I hate that placement. Like, sure, you're not job. You don't have farms yet, but you probably will need some farms, and that pisses me off. Over here, T90 onto his second TC on the back wood line. He's uh, mining plenty of stone for a defensive castle. Both of them in the teens when it comes to fishing ships, and that's a lot of the lead right there, right? That's about 30. And uh, the lead in the villagers is about, or an eco, is about 30. So the villager production has been relatively consistent. We've got... Uh, Turdon obviously leading the charge in the villager counts at 55. And we need to drop some TCs here soon, buddy baddie. We're using all of our wood now to create farms. We're heavy, heavy on gold at the moment. We are producing camel archers. So we really do want to be somewhat aggressive then in castle. We might need some siege to support that then. To actually find some damage. <coughs> Ooh, great wall. Or not great wall. Uh, fortified wall, rather. Um, out of Dave. So he's ultra safe, currently. Working on uh, getting some farms down now. Which you love to see. I mean, just look at the food counts, right? You have five on food for Buddy Batty. This is my concern, is you're just getting out-boomed. They're just going to get straight out-boomed at this point. Right, you're not going to get enough damage done with these, and you haven't built any siege. So, early imp is the play. But I don't even think these are going to pack enough of a punch in terms of damage to really be that effective. Dave's even going to double layer wall, especially when they see imp, they're going to know, okay, something's up. First trebuchet in the queue. And the camel archers are through, at least this first layer. So they're going to be able to stop the walling behind, get a kill here. Dave's not going to be able to con continue walling. There's no ballistics though, which is a bummer. Buying food now. Over here is pretty brutal. T90 using heavy market play to get himself clicked up soon, it looks like. Or drop a castle as well. So bought some stone to get this castle down. Has the resources essentially to click up. Okay, he's going ultra defensive. I think this is a lot better, especially when he sees the trebuchet. Another double layer walls here from Dave. So they're in full panic defensive mode here. But again, their food economies are so good. Both are about ready to click up to the Imperial Age themselves. We've got chemistry and husbandry coming in 
for the Magyar's player. So let's see here. Do we even have any military buildings? We have, okay, three stables. Another castle place for red here in the middle. So really trying to fortify this position. But again, six, six cam archers. That's the entire military, which is going to be really, really, really difficult, I think, to, to really achieve any damage. Uh, and the walling has been pretty effective here from Dave. We have Imperial Age on the way for T90. So it's 2 minutes and 30 seconds. 2 minutes and 30 seconds until Trebs can be created. And that's what we are relying on here if we're T90 and Dave. Is, is getting Imperial Age ourselves and being able to defend against that. Looking for the stables in the back. There they are. So T90 already, second armor upgrade on the way. While he's going to the Imperial Age, dropping a third stable now. Again, food eco is pretty solid for him. And we'll be able to spam out pretty big numbers. Turd on, though, as well, is looking pretty clean in terms of his eco. He's even brought some knights forward, some castle age knights, just to help with this push. Dave's now trying to put up a siege workshop. Might get Treb down pretty quickly though we'll see also manages to click up to imp just now so it will be t90 and dave who make it to imp first but the walls are broken and the knights and camels are in knights and camels are in there's a castle here doesn't have ballistics doesn't have fletching so it doesn't do incredible damage just yet and these knights are gonna find some good kills the camel archers are looking to raid. Unfortunately, they can't get through this way, so they would have to run, you know, through and around. Dave with a mangonel, looking for the shot. Unfortunately, misses. Knights swing over. And uh, mangonel goes down. We've got uh, lots of Tarkins, though, already on the field. Nine Tarkins on the field as T90 hits the Imperial Age. He already has the unique tech, which allows him to create them out of the stables. And he's getting the third armor upgrade. I assume he'll wait for that. He needs to start producing a trab or something, though, just to give him a little bit of something to fight back at range against the Bombard Cannon and the trab. Unfortunately, doesn't have the wood for it or the gold. He's really, really strapped at the moment for resources and is just indexing into uh, the Tarkin production for now. But Castle's going to go down, and his whole eco is going to be exposed. All of these fish traps. I would love to see these camel archers rotate over now. You can just kill all. This is 13 food units that you could just kill. That you could absolutely just murder. I mean, T90's just waiting for the third armor upgrade. He knows that his teammate is super, super boomed, right? And is about to hit Imperial Age as well. And now there'll be double imp against Castle and imp. If Dave can get some units produced and over here quickly or anytime soon, then uh, it's going to be pretty good. We get the cast, we get the wall deletes, the Tarkins are in, targeting the Trebs. And I think this one's going to be over here pretty soon, as a matter of fact. Because we also have Halberdiers in uh, in the queue for Dave. That's a very aggressive forward castle position. But indexing on winning the fight here against the Tarkins. And they will, because they still have better military numbers. So trying to get a very aggressive castle up in a forward position is Buddy Batty. Okay, all the Trebs go down. That's the ability to, you know, siege push here. For Buddy Batty's team. And you can kind of just see in the score difference at this point how difficult it will be for Buddy Batty's team to end up taking this one much further. The Mangonels and the Halberdiers are on the way over. They're going to loop around, but it does look like this castle will go up. We have no ranged units to threaten the villagers. And Imperial Age is in for Turdon. Turdon's getting Cavalier. He's getting scale or uh, plate barding armor at, at the moment. So, good number of knights that will be cavalier and decently strong. However, playing into the counter unit of the halberdier at this point. And onager on the way as well. Castle about to complete, though. T90 might need to think better of this fight that he's taking, in all honesty. Yeah, that's uh, that's not, wi not wise. Loses a pretty big fight. The mangonels are <clears throat> really close to that castle fire. I think Dave is going to want to yeah bring those back. Castle does try to target them. Now targeting a farm. But the uh, knights are going to move forward to look for it. We're just putting all of our attention right here in the middle of the map. 
because that's where all the action is, or in the middle of T90's base, I should say, because that's where all the action is. Cavalier in, plate barding in. T90 going for now another castle defensively in the middle of his farming eco. Yo, Hera. <clears throat> Excuse me. Hera, seriously. Whoa. Hera's raiding. You guys, uh, you joined in for a banger here. T90 and Dave taking a lot of pressure in a 2v2 on Black Forest. Thank you so much for the raid, my friend. Sorry, sorry, sorry. No chat. My bad. I'm sorry. Man, I was, I, I'm focused on this game. Can you blame me? Turd on. And our boy Buddy Batty are going pretty ham right now. Uh-oh. Exposed Bombard Cannons, though. Exposed Bombard Cannons. And T90 sees it. He's going to bring in the Cavalier to clean those up. That's going to stall the push out yet again. Trebuchet onto the field as well. Starting to work away on these castles. And, and this is where I think uh, at the end of the day, the one TC play for Buddy Batty is going to come back to bite them. It's going to come back to bite them. Yeah, we've got Ballistics, and we do have Paladin on the way. One minute from completion, but I'm not sure Paladin's going to be enough to take this one. When both your opponents have maxed out Ecos. I'm, wait I'm waiting for Dave to really get the production rolling, man. Where are, the where are them Trebs at? He's got three Trebs. Okay, he's starting to eat through these walls. That way he can just send units straight through here and kind of flank around. T90 is going to clear this castle position out of the way. We're fighting 13 seconds before Paladin comes in and throwing away a good number of our Cavalier. That's probably unwise. There's 22 in the area. We need Siege, though, especially when we show our opponent that we have Paladin at this point. This is your most effective moment in the game to deal damage. We got to use those Paladin now because we're just going to get pushed back slowly by bigger militaries if we don't just win a decisive fight and bring Siege forward. Problem is we have no Siege on Buddy Batty's team. This one's looking all but lost at this point, my friends. Thanks for the hydration check. Everybody grab your waters. Final battle. Onagers, find some good attacks. A whole heck ton of paladins 23 of them fully upgraded but is it enough is it enough that's the question more onagers rolling through dave wants some big shots dave wants some big shots just regular old onagers though and the kamiuks are on the way the elite kamiuks on the way as well wow we're giving up a lot of ground here Buddy Batty's team. We're giving up a lot of ground. That doesn't look good. Second TC of the game here, finally, for Buddy Batty himself. And now Dave's thinking about more barracks and just pushing his opponents straight up. They've staved off the pressure long enough. More upgrades now coming in for T90. Iron casting. Trebs are working away at the final castle position of Buddy Batty. It's going to be a tough spot for them to be in at this point. Ups. Or UPS. You think he's waiting on a package, maybe? Look at those onagers. Look at those onagers work. All right. Halb's rolling forward. Ooh, castle on another choke. T90 wants to just bust through here and end it all right now. That's a lot of Paladins, man, but we got to use them. We're just giving up all this ground. All right, Onagers, can they find some big shots? We're just going to watch these. These seven Onagers. Oh, that's a good shot. That was a good hit. That was like six dead right there. Oh, watch out. Don't let them all get sni sniped by Halbs. 
There's one goes down. But how be how, Dave will win out. He's also uh, cutting himself a little bit more space here. Back at home, markets are going up. So settling in for the long haul in case it goes there. And uh, T90's forces were cleared up on that side. Dave continues to roll through the middle, though. It's a Threeville castle over here, and he did replace it further back as opposed to his original castle placement. More TCs going up now for Buddy Batty. So they're not ready to give it up just yet. But Dave is going to keep rolling forward here. Chemistry now in for him. Paladin just clicked for T90. And I think that could be the killing blow right there. Matching the techs in the Cav Civs at that point. Although, actually, we still need Blast Furnace, too, for T90. We get that, though, and then we're all evened up. And look at the Kamiux. Kamiux are going to absolutely shred these units if they ever get in. Nice target fire. Snipes a few Paladins there by Dave. Well done. Well done. It's a Mango Master. Let's go. Let's get a big fight. The longer we wait, the worse it gets here for Buddy Batty's team. It's currently housed, by the way. Which is a little brutal. Trying to get a castle up. Right here to protect the TC. And the majority of his base. Great target fires by Dave. Look at that control. Look at that control. He will lose another one of the Manganels or the Onagers. All the way down to three now from the seven that he started. You come from the future. We're getting ready. Let's see it. T90 trying to push through over here. Oh, GG. There it is. GG is called. I was wondering if there was going to be another big onager shot. Marauders team. Dave and T90 are victorious. Well played. Well played, gents.